Welcome to Pepperon Folks' presentation of the 5500 series components. Uh, this is a Type Z EXPZ system. My name is Chris Romano. I am the product portfolio manager for Pepperon Folks for the Purge systems. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the 5500 series uh, system and it's made up of the control system which uh, here we have an external or internal mount and this is an external mount with some mounting hardware. Uh, the vent, which is required for uh, purge pressurization for the relief vent, and optional solenoid valves uh, to get the uh, protective gas inside the enclosure for purging and pressurization. The 5500 control system consists of two parts. Uh, you have the option of ordering it as an <coughs> external mount, which mounts on the outside of the enclosure through these tabs, <coughs> and then the internal mount, which is this version and it mounts inside the enclosure and uh, through these tabs it mounts on the enclosure you can do a cutout of the enclosure and this uh, gasket provides a nice seal uh, so that uh, the only thing visible from the outside of the enclosure is this display and the wiring for the system is done through the back uh, through this um, uh, plate now these units are available with AC and DC. The, um, the AC version uh, is 20 or is 95 volts to 250 volts. The DC version is 20 to 30 volts DC. Um, the display on the external mount can be rotated. Right now this is uh, designed to be uh, mounted this way but if you were to mount this on top of the enclosure or on the side like this you can certainly rotate this uh, display around so that uh, you can see it and read it. The uh, reference ports on this, uh, there's a differential pressure sensor inside here that measures the pressure. And it is done through uh, these ports on the uh, external mount. You have to reference inside the enclosure. So you can do that through this port on the internal mount you have to reference the outside environment which uh, can be done through this port. The um, unit also comes with different types of cable glands. If you take a look here, uh, right now we have conduit. Uh, this is a half inch conduit opening for uh, NEC requirements. Uh, but we also offer this with uh, cable glands and they have the option of having stainless steel or nickel plated brass. And the cable glands are mostly used for the ATEX ICEX uh, certifications. Now in mounting this we offer some mounting kits that uh, uh, will make it a little bit easier to mount this. So if you look here we offer some bolts mounting hardware which is a ceiling washer and some bolts. The ceiling washer is a NEMA 4X type washer and it provides a nice uh, attachment for the 5500. Uh, I mentioned about the reference pressure so in order to, for this to work you have to measure differential pressure and that's done through this port. On, for example on the external mount you have to reference the inside pressure which is a higher pressure. To do that we include along with this mounting hardware we include uh, the mounting hardware for the reference pressure. This is a bulkhead fitting and the o-ring to provide a seal. This goes through the enclosure and a fitting that will screw on to this port and provide you with a connection from our 5500 to the enclosure. Uh, along with that we offer some poly tubing along with these inserts uh, that go into the ends of the uh, tube. These inserts provide you with a strength for this ferrule type fitting. Um, and that will provide you uh, with a nice uh, reference pressure and easy mounting. You can also use stainless steel tubing if you uh, wish to. That completes the explanation of the components for the 5500 series system. We have the control units with the mounting hardwares, external, internal mount, the vent, which is a pressure relief, 
those are required for the type Z EXP Z system. And then we offer these optional manifold systems uh, for getting pur purging and pressurization of the enclosure. Uh, again, this is an optional system. You can certainly use manual valves. You can use your own valving system because again, the purge uh, flow is based on the pressure inside the enclosure which is measured through the control units. These units are certified for ATEX, ICEX, and also uh, NEC class divisions, class one, division two, and class two, division two, groups A through uh, D, and then EFG. Uh, so, and also zone two and zone 22. So they're good for gas and dust uh, atmospheres. Uh, I would like to thank you for attending this uh, YouTube uh, presentation. If you need more information, please visit our website uh, for the EPV 5500 vent or the 5500 control system as well as uh, the 5500 MAN manifold systems. Uh, thank you for attending. Thanks.